Okay, uh, time in. For those of you doing this at home, uh, you'll probably run into the same thing I ran into. I have this as a 20 by 20, so it turns out it only needed to be a 19 by 19. Um, see this edge here is not necessary. I made another picture box over here and pasted in that little map so that I didn't have to keep flipping back and forth because it was starting to annoy me. But um, uh, it's a little tip, so I'm going to pause this again and keep on working. Okay, just finishing this up here. Now, every time I click and choose what I want the tile to look like, it automatically becomes a wall, whether it looks like it or not. So what I'm actually going to do is fill these in with black. So they're walls, they just don't look like it. And then these over here on the ends, I guess, are also filled in with black. Now I'm going to have to go back in my form load and with code take these two locations and these two locations and make them so that they're not walls. Um, let's see, and you know what, I'm going to leave these as walls and I'm going to start the Pac-Man guy right here. So, when, with collision detection you'll be able to walk to a spot that's not a wall, but if I start off in the wall he can't go backwards, he can't go side to side, he can only leave and then he can't go back in because it, you know, he's walking off of a wall. So. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's see if this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So spot tile one nine and two nine. I'm going to need to set one nine and two nine. Let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. One nine. And one nine and two nine, and then what is this? Uh, well, I only needed nineteen, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So eighteen and nineteen are the x coordinates. Eighteen and nineteen. So that is set. Now you know what I'm going to do. Find um gotta click on the form here. I'm going to set the window state to maximized and the border style to none. And then this button here now I'm going to we don't need to save the map anymore, I'm just gonna say end. This will be my emergency exit button. Now when I run it it should automatically jump full screen. I'll use my exit button, I guess. Let's see. It's 30. I'm going to resize this picture here w using code. So, where did I put that? Oh, the little mini map. We'll get rid of that. We don't need it since it was only for uh, me to place things. This needs to go invisible again since we're done with the map editor part. And let's see, when the program starts, we should be able to say that picture one dot width equals 30 times 19. That's the number of pixels each tile is, and then we ended up, it was 19 pixels by 19 pixels. So there we go. It resizes it to the correct size. Of course, it's not centered and all that stuff, but you know, I'll worry about that later. I can move this a little bit too if I want now. Cool. Um, what am I going to need next? You know what, I'm going to need a timer. I'm going to set the interval on it to 50 milliseconds. And inside, I'm going to say... Oh, you know what? Crud. i got to figure out what tile this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 7 are my coordinates for my guy, so let's fill all that stuff in. D equals zero. He doesn't have a direction yet. Um, no desired destination. Let's see. His animation will be zero. I'm just kind of initializing all of the variables that I'm going to use. Um, I think that's it. 
So in the timer, we say um, we draw the tile where our guy is at because we want to erase him. And we say if d equals what we got. Crud. I'm going to copy this so I don't forget what it is. Okay, if d equals 1, then call draw tile a b minus 1 because he's facing up. Basically, if he's currently traveling in a certain direction, we don't want to just redraw the tile he's on to erase him. We want to draw the tile that is where he's going to be going also. Oops. Okay. If that makes sense. And then we're drawing him on top of that. So we say um what call picture one dot paint picture picture two dot image. We're going to draw this on A wait A times thirty, that's where he's at. B B times thirty. I'm putting in quotes or brackets for a reason, I'll get to that. We're taking it from uh let's see his I probably did his direction wrong here. <laughs> um direction one should I should probably have done these in the order that they so I'm gonna go back and, and change that. I'm gonna say we've got right down left up. Those are the new directions. So this one was right, down was good for two, left was right for three, and up is four. Okay, it's ugly but it works. This will just make it easier when I do this part here, because I need to figure out what x coordinate I'm taking it from. And that's going to be whatever his d minus 1, because if his direction is 1, we want to pull from 0 as the x coordinate. So d times 1 times 30. And then the y value is going to be what, 0, 1, 2, plus his animation. So 2 plus his animation times 30. Width and height, they're both 30. I'm not doing any transparencies yet. Doesn't like this for some reason. Why not? What are my numbers? Oh, if his D is zero. Um You know what? Let's start his direction off as something different. What was down? Down is two. Let's just point him down. Okay, he's in the wrong spot, but it works. And I hear my timer going off, so I've got to save the video.